I drove into the village to find a scene of carnage, really. I just, unbelievable. Found my colleague dealing with a casualty in, in a car, bleeding from major wounds to the arm and shoulder. And then passers-by came quickly and said, can you come up the road? There's two people up the road. And so we went, I went up the road to find a gentleman on a bicycle who, lying on the side of the road, who'd had severe shotgun wounds to his head, who was, by the extent of the wound, was bound to be dead. Um, and I then went along, further along the road, we're only talking about a distance of about 300 yards, to find what I thought at first was a child lying on the pavement, in fact was a, a little a little lady, but she looked like a child, and of course that, they, that did raise quite a very great worries in my head. But, and again, this poor lady, who was well known in the village, who had been out delivering catalogues for the cleaning material firm she works for, had been shot point blank range in the head and had such a severe injury to her head that there's no hope of any kind of life there at all. And apparently, just had been called across this car and had been shot at point blank range. And you're talking about major injuries. I think the, the, the worst thing was that there's no emergency service there at the time and the people who were looking after these bodies were just members of the public who were having to cope and do what they could. And of course, when you say, well, actually, there's nothing we can do for the... The trauma was so major, the people who saw the bodies were probably going to be affected for quite a while. I'm not quite sure how they would sleep last night because if they saw what had happened to these people, it, it, they've never, they would never have seen anything like that before. Um, I'm not going to be too graphic, but this, this was very horrendous.